Washdot is on notice now. The Spokane City Fire Marshal says the cooling tent set up on Washdot's property near I-90 in Freya is illegal. So he sent a letter to Washdot requesting they take it down. Crem 2's Amanda Rowley is joining us now live from that homeless camp on that property to explain this situation. Amanda? Well, this cooling tent went up on Wednesday, and on the same day, this letter went out to Washdot from the Spokane City Fire Marshal, and it says the tent is an illegal structure, and since Washdot is the property owner, it is responsible for removing the tent or getting the proper permits. Now, Jules Helping Hands set up the tent. It has fans, misters, and just last night, they added air conditioners. Washdot is aware of the cooling tent, and while the agency does not allow camping on its land, officials say they don't want someone to have a medical emergency on their property. Spokane Fire Marshal Lance Dahl told me temporary structures such as tents with sides and measuring at least 400 square feet require a permit. The cooling tent is almost 2,000 square feet, and Jules Helping Hands does not have a permit for it. City Council President Brian Beggs told me he notified City Council members that the cooling tent was going up at the request of the fire chief. Now he says he's just trying to untangle the bureaucratic issues that have popped up as a result. My goal is to solve the bureaucratic issues yeah. so that we can get to the substance of it. Yeah. And in the meantime, the tent will still provide cooling services uh, okay. to the people who need it, which is great because we don't want to have people with health issues uh, due to the heat, if possible. So I'm glad that's happening. Now, Washdot and the Department of Commerce released a joint statement this afternoon responding to the fire marshal's letter saying they will not take action to remove the cooling center during this extreme weather. In the meantime, Washdot and the Department of Commerce say it will continue to review other local proposals submitted by the city last week and allow nonprofit organizations to continue helping individuals in need. Now, the letter from the fire marshal says Washdot has to remove this tent by 9 a.m. on Monday. If not, Washdot could get a civil infraction of $536 for every day the cooling tent is left up. Amanda Rowley, Krem 2 News.